This is Game Industry, a world cradled in a dimension very far away. The goddesses known as CPUs befriended humans there and began attending school to learn more about human culture. But even an exemplary place like this couldn't stop the decline in human births. The Academy's on the brink of collapse. In conclusion, Game Academy will close its doors forever by the end of the year. But why? The game just started! Oh, here we go. We're barely a few sentences in and we're already throwing punchlines. Are we giving up so easily? I know there are lots of games out there, but this one's special. It has schoolgirls. Give it up, Neptune. This is beyond us. <laughs> However, there were a dedicated few who were fiercely determined to fight in these desperate times. This story is about the brave girls who were steadfast in their desire to protect the school they loved from closing. This book is fascinating. I'm glad I can relax and read it outside. The breeze feels so nice. Oh, that's right. I should probably be using my downtime to write that book. I don't have that much time left as a student here. Maybe if I work hard and come up with something great, I can win Raigeki Books Newcomer Award, then... That sounds like Rom and Ram. Ah! 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 Don't come near me! Oh, I'm so scared! Someone help me! Are we about to be eaten by zombies? No! No, we can't! I don't want to die yet! Rom and Ram are being attacked by zombies? But why would zombies be at the school? Whatever. I can figure it out later. I need to save my sisters. Let's do this. I'm not interested in why zombies are at the academy. I won't let them lay a finger on my precious little sisters. Can you give me a second? Make me give you a shot! Don't blame me if you're amazed. Smash! Sonic! Sonic! Faster! Cut it out! Yeah! Sonic! I'm crushing you! Huh? I'm ready!
That makes sense. I'm from Louis. Yes. Tia. <laughs> this is the last of them. Are you two okay? Blon, why'd you have to get in the way? What? Um. So, is everyone all right? Uh, I think I I'm all right. Man, I feel like I got hit in the face. <laughs> Cut! Whoa. Come on, Blonde, what gives? N Neptune? That girl's name is Neptune. She's one of my classmates here at Game Academy. She might not look like much, but Neptune is actually the patron CPU of the Nation of Planetune. If you couldn't tell, we're in the middle of making a movie. Um, oh, that explains the zombies. That's right. Yep, that's right, big sister. Good job. But why? We're trying to save the Academy, Blonde. Right, Rom? Right, Ram? I don't think I get it. Neptune, what's going on? Birth rates are declining, and the student population is shrinking annually. Didn't you hear? The school's closing. With the amateur film contest coming up, I thought if we submitted an amazing student-made movie, new students might want to attend our school. It wouldn't have to close. Oh, I see. But I am the only member of the film club, and it's hard to take this on by myself. So... I invited Rom and Ram since they're popular among the freshmen. Hey, I know! Big Sister, why don't you make this movie with us? Oh, that really? I always knew I was a genius! Sorry, but I can't commit to that. Aw, but why? How can you deny the request of your adorable little sister? Even if it's coming from my little sister, and even if she is adorable, I just don't have the time. I need to read all the books in the library before I graduate. Wait, you don't have enough members to film a movie. Ah, I know, I know. But something needs to be done. Our class is going to be the very last one to enjoy the school if we do nothing. Don't you care? No. Nope. We're here as CPUs, Neptune. Our task is to get a better understanding of human life. Don't forget that. <sighs> well, all right. I wanted you to write and direct the movie, but I guess I'll have to find someone else. <gasps> Me? Handling both direction and screenwriting? I was just saying I wanted to write a book before I graduate, so writing a script is definitely up my alley. Directing a movie wouldn't be such a bad idea either. And what if by some divine chance the movie's a smash hit, even though a student from Game Academy made it? I'd have a great reputation among studios for making a great film with slim resources. I'll be famous. <laughs> oh, well. If you don't want to do it, I guess I should start looking for a replacement. I'll do it. All right. So, who would you recommend? Wait, Wait, what? Really? You'll do it? I thought you just said you had no time to spare. You misunderstood. Or, um... You might have misheard me. I do have one condition, however. I direct and write the script. That's the only way I'll work with you. Sure, Blonde. Whatever you want. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay! We're gonna be making movies with our big sister! Isn't it great, Rom? Yeah, Ram! I'm so excited that we can all work together! So this was my introduction to the world of film production. Even after we graduate and return to our CPU duties, I'll never forget these moments of making movies with my friends. This is just one page of my life story, but I already know it's one I'll want to return to and read again and again. This is so amazing!
Pokemon. Now that you've joined our club, let me introduce everyone. We'll start with the founding member, who also happens to be the president of the film club. <laughs> me. You already know, but I'm Neptune, a senior at Game Academy. Next up would be our number two, my little sister. Um, hello. I'm Netgear, and I'm a junior. I'm looking forward to working with you, Blonde. And, last but not least, our third and fourth members who just joined are... Me, Rom, and me, Ram. Well, so there are only four of us so far. That zombie guy from earlier isn't a member? He was just a volunteer. Members of the other clubs help us out sometimes. They don't want the school to close either. Although I'm not sure why. They usually just skip class. Anyway, with that being said... Welcome to our club, Blonde! You'll be member number five. No, I will not be five. I will be member zero. Member zero? I'm the director and scriptwriter. And since this all starts and ends with me, that number best fits my role here. You're so cool, big sister! So, Neptune, what kind of film are you thinking of making? Oh, I don't know. I really haven't thought about it too much. Seriously? I thought you were at least working with some kind of zombie thing. Well, I mostly just wanted something scary for the scene, so naturally... Zombies! We first had high school boys play the attackers, but it looked... weird. Zombies were a less offensive choice. That was a smart move. Can I see your script? I want to see how your story's coming along so far. Hmm, don't have one. If you must know, I write it all out in my head. <laughs> that way I'll never lose it. So you're saying if I want to read the script, all I have to do is smash your head open? That's good to know. Hey, w w w wait a minute, Blonde. I, I was joking. Uh, here, my script's right here. Please don't hit me. Hmm. <sighs> Neptune, this is awful. It's like you're cramming in things you think are cool without considering the story. Oh, darn. You could tell. Anyone could. It looks like the first order of business will be rewriting the script. We don't have a budget, but we could still make a great film with the right cast. We'll keep the zombie theme, too. Wow, you sound so smooth, Blonde. <laughs> it's like you're reading your words right out of a script. Thanks. Anyway, a zombie film is pretty niche, so the schoolgirl theme should be mixed in to widen our target audience. If we're going with a schoolgirl theme, we could even film in the academy. Exactly. We'll open with a classroom scene. It'll juxtapose nicely with the zombie action that'll develop later. The time, morning. First period. The place, homeroom. The boring school day is about to begin. That's when we'll have a cruise ship suddenly crash into a classroom. A ship? Not a plane, train, or car? Why? We have to start off strong, but also use something that hasn't happened in real life so we don't offend anyone. I don't want protesters to halt production after all. We'll have backstory about the ship later on to make sense of it. Well... Moving on. Vert, Noir, and Nepgear won't have time to escape the crash, so it'll be over for them pretty early on. What? I'm going to die right away? Don't worry, you won't be alone. Neptune gets crushed by a satellite, and Uni will fall into a pit of magma in the schoolyard. Wow, this sounds a little crazy, even for me, Blonde. The audience will learn a mysterious virus aboard the ship leaked out and killed the students. That's when things get interesting. The students, thought to be dead, resurrect as zombies due to the virus. Whoa, that's a crazy story. But it's so enthralling! Amazing, Blonde! I want to hear how it all ends! Although, Uni's body probably wouldn't resurrect when she falls into that magma. It's pretty amazing I can come up with something so cool on the fly like this. Hey, so this isn't the movie set, is it? Whoa! A new character appeared? Um, you don't look familiar. Who are you? My name is Tamsoft. Nice to meet ya. Whatever you guys are filming right now seems pretty cool. And I was wondering if I could... Filming? Right now? What are you talking about?
Come out to the hallway and check it out for yourself. Ah, shit. This is seriously shit. zombies in the hallway. They're not those students who have been volunteering to play zombies. Are they real? Oh, I thought this was part of your movie. I guess I was wrong. It definitely is not part of our movie. We don't have zombie friends. Then they're the real deal, right? Uh, you wanna mess with me, huh? And they're all Doc Kuhn zombies, too. I wanna get to the bottom of this, but Deal with these zombies first. I have an idea. Neptune, let's use them in our movie. What? We can't afford zombie costumes. If we're aiming for authenticity, it'd be hard to find better looking zombies than these. So, you'll be in character and filming while we fight these zombies? That's a great idea, Blonde! Oh, that sounds pretty great. Why don't you let me join you? No offense, but can you even fight? These are real zombies we're going up against. I can hold my own. I wouldn't miss a fun fight like this for the world. Well, that sounds good to me. Welcome to the club, Tamsoth. Let's make a movie. 